Oh, here's a specimen that um, David sent me, da David from Victoria in Australia. Yeah, David sent me this specimen stone and he wants me to turn it into a pendant for him, for one of his uh, daughters. Yeah, so um, that's what I'm going to do. It's a very small stone, but we'll see how we go. What I'm doing here, I'm grinding it down on a 240 grit wheel, and I'm just all I'm doing is taking all the sharp edges off. The next wheel is 1200 grit, and that's going to put a, a slight shine on the stone. Next, I'll drill a hole in the top of the stone to set the bale. Okay. I've put a little divot in the top of the stone. There's a little small divot there and I'm going to drill a hole uh, into that divot, into the stone, for the bale, to set the bale. That's the drill bit I'm using. It's a diamond drill bit. Okay, there's the hole that I've drilled. I'll just show you with the drill. So that's the depth that I've drilled. It only has to be deep enough to take the bale. Uh, yeah, the, um, the stud on the bale. But that's it. Now I've got to dry the stone out, thoroughly dry it out, clean the hole out, 
and then I can glue the, glue the bale into the stone then it just needs a tidy up, a polish and it's finished okay there's the stone after I've, I've polished, or well I haven't properly polished it yet but it's cut that's the back, the green that you can see is the wax from the dop stick I'll have to try and clean that out a bit better otherwise I can just say it's um, copper staining <laughs> yeah but uh, that's pretty much it I hope it comes out alright I'm um, I'm going to put it in acid, I'm going to give it an acid clean because you can see the iron, rusty iron staining in the stone well I'm going to give it a short bath in acid I'm going to put some hydrochloric acid and some water, more water than acid and I'll give it a light bath and see if I can get, remove those iron staining in the rock okay guys that's the bale it's sterling silver sterling silver bale and I'll be gluing that into the hole that I drilled in the top of the uh, specimen well guys it's um it's a bit wet here today so I've had to do this um, finish up uh, under the patio yeah. Um, I've finished David's um, pendants. I'll just give you a look at them. I'll take photos, guys. I know this camera, um, and I apologise for the the blurryness. The um, the camera's not not doing its thing. Yeah, but that's that's the bigger stone. And like I said, if it's a bit blurry, I'll, I'll take still shots. Because um, there's no sun out at the moment, so it's a bit a bit dreary. Right here, and here's the other one. And as I said, I'll, I'll take photos, because I know these are going to be blurry. The camera's not going to focus properly. There they are. That small one was a bit of a drama, David. I just um, I drilled a hole in it in the top and glued the bale in. Now I give it a bit of a tidy up, but I didn't want to go too far because it's such a small stone. Uh, I was afraid it was going to um, shatter or break up. So yeah, but um, yeah, there they are, mate. I hope you like them. I'll be putting them in the post. I'll send them off to you ASAP. Thank you very much, David. Thank you for for um, sending me these stones and for trusting me. Thank you very much. Now, I've got some mail. I've got some mail from Lindsay. Lindsay... Um, lives in Albany in Western Australia and he's kindly sent me up a box of rocks so I haven't opened them yet I thought I'd wait and show you guys and we'll open them together open up the box together and see what Lindsay sent me okay I might have to bring these in a bit closer there you are now we'll just open up the box and see what Lindsay has sent me. Lindsay sent me um, rocks in, in the past, or just recently actually. Lindsay sent me some, some stone, some um, unikite stone. And I sent, uh, I sent Lindsay a box of, of rocks and Lindsay sent me another box. Cool. Okay. Oh, there's some good stuff in here, guys. Yeah, there's a big lump of quartz, a crystal. That's a 
quartz crystal. That looks like Mukite. Mukite. That's from the north, the northwestern Australia. That's a piece of banded iron. I'm not sure about that one. Some nice colours yellow, brown, green. I know what it's called, I can't think of the name of it. Yeah, I've got some of this stone, similar. But um, there's a whole box, whole box he sent me of all different types of, of stone. A little big piece down in here. That's a banded, um, could be a, a banded sandstone of some description. Yeah. Not cut, like a calcedomy type stone. Um, yeah, I can't think of the name of it. But it's, it's nice. It'll make some nice pendants, that stone. Anyway, I'll take all the all the rocks out, guys, and I'll take a photo of, the, of all the rocks so you can see them. But um, Greg came around the other day, and, and he got me. He brought me some more of this rock, this um, lapidolite. So I've got plenty of this stone. I'll, I'll send some more down to you, Lindsay. Some more of this lapidolite, mate. Yeah, it's cool rock. I've got some more blue quartz, mate. Maybe I can send you some of this as well. Nice chunks for you. And that's that, um, that's that other stone that you sent me. That unikite, that's beautiful. Yeah, I've been cutting a, a bit of this up already. Okay, that, that's about it guys, um, that's all, all I really wanted to show you. I wanted to, um, the main purpose of this video was to cut and polish these gold specimens, yeah, and turn them into independence. So, I've done that. If, if you're watching and you're into prospecting and you've got some big pieces of quartz, I really want a, a big piece of, of specimen. Um, stone, gold, gold specimen stone, and I want to um, cut maybe a heart shape or something. If, I, if the stone's big enough, I'll cut a heart heart shape with the showing the gold in the stone, and I'll put a bale on the top and uh, transform it. Yeah, make it into a pendant. Uh, that's that's what I want to do. So um, yeah, if you've got a, a specimen and you wouldn't mind, and you trust me, you wouldn't mind sending it to me. I'll, I'll do the work and I'll send it back to you. No, no, um, no charge, all, all um, free, yeah. Okay, I think that's it guys, I think that's all I was going to do. Um, thank you David, and thank you Lindsay, for the rocks. Stay safe out there guys. Take care, be good, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah, don't forget. I'll keep that. Um, I'll keep. I'll keep the meteorite co um, competition. I'll keep it running for maybe for a few more days until my next video. I'll make another video up and then I'll announce the winner. So yeah, leave a leave a um, a guess for that meteorite. Okay, guys. Bye for now.